Hi everyone, today in the edit room we're going to look at how to resize your video specifically for Instagram. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create your project. So I'm going to do a command N for a new project here. And I'll just call it uh, for Instagram for lack of creativity. Um, the size though is what's important here. I want to make a custom size. I'll choose custom. And because Instagram shows video in a square format, it shows it up to 1080, I believe. Things may change, so this could be wrong um, later on as you know technology improves. But for now, this is what works for me. So I'll click OK. Now I have this really weird square image here. And I'm going to just drag and drop in this video. And I'm done. Okay, maybe I'm not really done. Uh, one thing you could do with your video is if you select it and you go into the inspector. Okay, so down below here uh, you have spatial conform and right now I'm choosing fit or it's automatically set to fit which fits your image within the bounding box. So this is a 1920 by 1080 uh, time-lapse video and if I choose fill then that's basically what uh, Instagram would have done if I uploaded a 1080, a 1920 by 1080 um, video. So that is exactly what I don't want to do, or maybe I do want to do this so that I don't lose resolution. Um, if I click this little transform tool here, I can resize it or re uh, shape it to fit however I want. I'm going to undo that under transform here. I'll just reset the transform and I didn't crop it, but Sometimes I just like to press buttons just for the fun of it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to click Done. And under Spatial Conform, I'm going to put it back on Fit. And then the background is a black background. Well, in Instagram, as of today, the background in Instagram is white. So I want to make this background white. So I'll go into my Generators tab here. And under Solids, I'll choose Custom. And I'll just drag that in. And custom allows me to create a different color if I wanted to, white. I could even pick a color from this little drop tool here. Maybe I wanted that, uh, that blue, or I missed the mark there, didn't I? Here, come on. Yeah, there we go. I want that color blue. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't work again. So I'll select it. Go to the color. See how it has to be selected here? and then I'll click the little color picker and then click the blue. Instagram blue! Now really I want it white. Um, let me delete that and there's also these whites here and then if you choose the whites you can choose, I would suggest to choose bright white. Bright white is what the color is of Instagram. Also another Instagram uh, interesting fact is it only allows up to 15 seconds. So I want to maximize this to 15 seconds so I'm going to hit Control D and hit 15. Now if I hit return that is 15 frames so I want to hit uh, the period before I hit return and now I've got 15 seconds. So I'm going to um, see if I've got any more video here. So now I have exactly 15 seconds. And if I, hit the, if I select the clip and I hit the letter X, it marks the in and out. Well, then I'll just do Control T. And now I can put a text over the duration of the 15 seconds. And, you know, you could put um, different information on here if you so choose. Like I'll just put johnblue.com. Go to the face and change the color maybe. You know, real creative here. Uh, but what I want to do also is have it fade in and fade out. So if I select everything and do Command-T, it adds a transition to all of them all at one time. But as you can see, it doesn't work the way that I want. It just pops the white back in. And I really don't know if this is a bug of Final Cut or if it's the way the Final Cut works. But let me undo that. And really what I want to do is select all the clips and do Option-G to create a compound clip. 
and I'll just, you know, give it a name, compound clip, you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Compound clip for Instagram. Okay, so now that it's a compound clip, now I can do Command T, and now it fades in just like I wanted. Isn't that wonderful? And to really make things better for this time lapse video, I'm going to double click on it here, and I'll do a retiming, Command R to retime, and I'll just drag it out a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is come in under here, under video quality, choose optical flow. And what that'll do, it, it's going to analyze the clip, and it will create frames in between frames, giving me a much smoother looking uh, time lapse video. So right now I'm inside the compound clip, and I got inside of it by double clicking. I'm going to go back to my timeline here, and once it's done analyzing and rendering, I'll be ready to export. Or I could go ahead and export right now. So I'll click the uh, share button, and I created in Compressor this Instagram setting. And let me show you how I did that in Compressor. So I'll switch over to Compressor. I went to the video sharing uh, services under HD 1080. I right clicked and choose duplicate. And it gives me the HD copy here that I can rename Instagram or whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to delete it real quick because I already have one. So my Instagram setting, I went over here to the um, settings tab under video. I chose the frame size to be 1080 by 1080, the exact frame size that I wanted my project to be. So I'm actually exporting this with the same exact frame setting, and I want the pixel aspect ratio to be square. Um, under QuickTime settings, I'm going to change this to automatic data rate so that I can make the quality best, best, bestest. It's only a 15 second clip, so I really don't, I'm not worried about you know, file size for too much. So I'll click OK, and now that I have that Instagram setting in Compressor, I'll go back to Final Cut, and under the Share menu here, I can add the destination, and there's the Compressor setting. I'll just drag that in, oops, and then choose Instagram from my custom settings. Let me cancel that because I already did it. Okay, so now I'll just share it to Instagram. Now I'll click the Instagram setting there. And when I hit next, I'll just save it to my Dropbox in order to get it into my camera roll of my small device. That way I can upload it from my iPhone. And that is a good way to get your video into Instagram. I'm John Blue. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks in the edit room.